Hello and welcome to this Dr. Frost Maths key skill video on ordering whole numbers, also known as integers. So we've got these different numbers here, these different whole numbers, and we want to put them in order from smallest to largest. This is also known as ascending order, where they're going from smallest to largest. Now in a previous video, we looked at the place value of digits. And when we want to order whole numbers, we always look at the place value of the highest worth. So in this case, we can see this is in the hundreds, that we've got a hundreds digit here. That's the tens digit, that's the units digit. That's also a hundreds digit. That's also a hundreds digit. That's also a hundreds digit, three hundreds. And this one we can see, it's got a tens digit and a units digit, but there are no hundreds. So we could think of that actually, that we got zero hundreds there. So when we want to compare these, we first look at the hundreds digit. Now we can see that out of 0, 3, 3, 3, and 5, 0 is the smallest number. So that means this number is going to be the smallest. So we're going to put the 34. Let's not write the 0 on the front. That's going to be the first one. What about the next one? Now, we've got hundreds digits of 3, and we've got hundreds digit of 5. Which is the smaller one? Well, the 3 is the smaller one. But now it's a draw. We've got three numbers each with three as a hundreds digit. So when it's a draw like that, we then have to look at the next digit. So let's now look at the tens digit. Which of these three numbers has the smallest tens digit? Well, we've got zero here. We've got four here as a tens digit and four here. Now zero is the smallest, so that one is gonna be the smallest. So that's the next number. And now it's between these two numbers. They both have the same tens digit and the same hundreds digit, so it's a draw still. So now we have to look at the next digit, which is the units digit. Now, which is bigger, the three or the seven? The seven's bigger, the threes are smaller. So it's that number next, that's the next smallest. So we got three, four, three, and then three, four, seven. And then finally, we can see that number has the highest hundreds digit, so that's going to be the biggest one. So just to repeat the strategy, we always compare the place value with the highest worth first, the hundreds digit, and when it's a draw, we then have to compare the next place value, so it would be the tens next, then the units, etc., to decide which is the smaller or the bigger number.